As Skyblock evolves and grows with changes and updates, many regions of the game become vastly different, with revamps, new islands, and new content. However, there is one outlier to that rule. Foraging. I asked around in a few discords and many people were very upset with the current state of the skill. It's boring, tedious, and has little to no depth at all, with a couple pets, one tool, and one region to do it. So today, because the admins won't fix foraging, I have the perfect solution. A new mayor. My solution contains foraging 60 and a new mayor, called Jack. Jack would be a regular mayor that fits into the normal mayor rotation and not a special mayor. The mayor Jack is obviously a pun on Lumberjack, but it's a nice name to fit the theme. Jack's three perks are Brute Axes, Gatherer's Delight, and Secret of the Jungle. Brute Axes reduces the cooldown of axes by 50%, which stacks with the monkey pet, meaning that the end result is that the axes will have a 0.5 second cooldown, which is really nice. The second perk, Gatherer's Delight, makes you gain plus 50% foraging experience while on public islands. The last perk is the Secret of the Jungle, which lets you forage and fight monkeys to get new loot. Because the other two perks are actually just simple number changes, let's get into the most detailed ability, Secret of the Jungle. The monkeys will spawn very similar to Hidden Jerry's, and they have a 1% chance to spawn upon breaking a log, with a 2 minute cooldown. The monkey is a hits mob, meaning that it doesn't have regular health, but instead takes 5 hits to kill from any weapon, excluding a new item. Monkeys have 4 possible drops. There's a guaranteed chance for the monkey to drop 16 banana leaves. The banana leaf is a new commodity that is used to craft many things from this new content update. The next drop is a 0.5% chance to drop the golden banana. The golden banana is also a crafting ingredient. The banana peel has a 0.1% chance to drop from monkeys and is a new reforged stone for your axes. And Monkey's favorite banana has another 0.1% drop chance, which is a pet item for monkeys. Let's get into the new items that you could see in this update. The first is the Banana Axe, a forceful axe forged from golden bananas that can break a massive amount of logs in a single swing. This would basically be a tree capitator that is much stronger, breaks more logs, and has the added ability of dealing plus one hits to monkeys. This makes it so that instead of hitting them five times, you only have to hit them three times. The Banana Axe would also be legendary base, meaning that when you recom it, it is mythic, and therefore reforges have stronger stats. The Banana Axe would be crafted with a tree capitator, surrounded by eight golden bananas, one in each slot. The next set of items is the Armor of the Jungle. Now this is crafted with the respective growth armor piece from Dark Oak Collection and 32 enchanted banana leaves. You get an enchanted banana leaf from 160 banana leaves, so this is pretty cheap to craft after a few hours of doing this event. The armor of the jungle gives about 100 health per piece, 100 defense per piece, and gives 20 speed per piece, but it also has the set bonus of the Ancient Totem's Gift. Increases the speed cap by 200 while in the park. This basically just replaces Young as the foraging armor set and gives it more theme to the actual skill of foraging. For the model of the armor itself, it is 3 fourths dark green armor with a yellow helmet. With every new update they've been adding recently, there has to be a new set of talismans or a talisman, and in this case, we have a 5 long accessory chain. The first tier is the squashed banana, which is a common rarity accessory that is crafted with 32 banana leaves. It gives 2% more foraging experience and 1 speed. In fact, every single upgrade of the talisman gives 2% extra foraging experience and 1 extra speed. The uncommon variant is the banana talisman that gives 4% XP and 2 speed and is crafted with the squashed banana and 2 more stacks of banana leaves. The banana ring is crafted with the banana talisman, 16 enchanted banana leaves, and gives 6% XP and 3 speed. The banana artifact is crafted with the banana ring, 64 enchanted banana leaves, and gives 8% XP and 4 speed. And finally, the Banana Relic is crafted with four golden bananas, two stacks of enchanted banana leaves, and the Banana Artifact, which gives 10% more foraging experience and five speed. And of course, because this chain is five long, it ends up at a legendary accessory, which can then be upgraded to Mythic. 
The last group of this is the two last items. Monkey's favorite banana, a pet item that upgrades the monkey pet from legendary to mythic and grants it one new perk. This is the banana swipe. Once your monkey is mythic rarity, it gains the fourth ability banana swipe, which adds banana swipe to your axes. This makes it so that upon right click, it grants the ability to insta break logs. It lasts for 15 seconds and has a cooldown of 30 seconds. The last item from this is the Banana Peel Reforge Stone, which requires mining level 15 and applies the Slippery Reforge and it is locked to the Banana Axe, much like Warped is locked to the Aspen of the End or Gilded is locked to the Midas Sword. The Slippery Reforge gives 20 speed on a Legendary and 30 speed on a Mythic. It also has the Slippery Ability, which gives 8% more Foraging Experience on a Legendary and 10% more Foraging Experience on a Mythic. This serves to be a better version of Toil for the Banana Axe specifically. I also thought this was the perfect theme because a slippery banana made with the Banana Peel Reforged Stone is perfect. With the release of this new update, along with increasing the respawn rate of the trees, they could also make more park lobbies, meaning that there's tons of space for all the people that want to forage and check the new update out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. Also, like and comment down below if you like this idea. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.